Hi, thank you for joining me today. We've been reading through A Course in Miracles, the daily lessons, and today we're on the focus lesson, What Am I? What am I? I am God's son, complete and healed and whole, shining in the reflection of his love. In me, his creation sanctified and guaranteed eternal life. In me is love perfected, fear impossible, and joy established without opposite. I am the holy home of God himself. I am the heaven where his love resides. I am his holy sinlessness itself, for in my purity abides his own. Our use for words is almost over now. Yet in the final days of this one year we gave to God together, you and I, we found a single purpose that we shared, and thus you joined with me, so what I am, you are as well. The truth of what we are is not for words to speak of nor describe, yet we can realize our function here, and words can speak of this and teach it too if we exemplify the words in us. We are the bringers of salvation. We accept our part as saviors of the world, which through our joint forgiveness is redeemed. And this, our gift is given, is therefore given us. We look on everyone as brother and perceive all things as kindly and as good. We do not seek a function that is past the gate of heaven, Knowledge will return when we have done our part. We are concerned only with giving welcome to the truth. Ours are the eyes through which Christ's vision sees a world redeemed from every thought of sin. Ours are the ears that hear the voice for God proclaim the world's sinlessness, or the world as sinless. Ours, the mind, that join together as we bless the world. And from the oneness that we have attained, we call to all our brothers, asking them to share our peace and commiserate our joy. I'm sorry, and consummate our joy. We are holy messengers of God who speak for him and carrying his word to everyone whom he has sent to us. We learn that it is written on our hearts. And thus our minds are changed about the aim for which we came and which we seek to serve. We bring glad tidings to the Son of God who thought he suffered, now he is redeemed. And as he sees the gate of heaven stand open before him, he will enter in and disappear into the heart of God. This is a beautiful lesson. And we are reaching the end of this year of study. It's been a little bit more than a year, I guess, because there's been a few days that have been missed due to life uh, in general. Um, for a different uh, purpose this morning, I was reading in a Conversations with God book club and uh, the chapter that we were reading was talking a lot about all the various different religions and, and how, in general, most religion teaches that God is an angry God, a vengeful God. And um, as we know from this work, none of that is true. And so it's each of our jobs to go out into the world and share our understanding from our hearts of what the message of God is. So I hope you have a great day with this. There'll be another daily lesson to go with it today. And then we'll continue on with the daily lessons for the next uh, about week or so. And then we're week and a half, I guess. And then we'll be wrapped up. There is still the um, main text that I'll be reading. I have not been able to keep up with the main text as well. So those readings will continue to release on, on Sundays uh, until we finish with the main text. 
Um, but the daily lessons are going to wrap up here really quite soon. So thank you again. If you need additional support, you can reach out to me, 907-351-3003. Um, message me through SoundCloud or YouTube or Facebook. And until tomorrow or the next lesson, namaste and much love.